Hey guys, this is Eric Broaders back again with another video and I'm following up. This one will be called The Cost of Leadership. The Cost of Leadership. In my opinion, the cost of leadership, a good leader will sacrifice their personal agenda. Meaning that they give up and sacrifice their own desires for the good and the whole of others. And this is not always easy because as human beings, by nature, we are selfish creatures and we want to put self first. But one key thing that you will definitely learn um, as a leader is that you must put others ahead of yourself, you know, for the benefit and the good of the team or the whole. The second that I want to fo focus on, second point is um, control. Um, those leaders out there, if you're um, micromanagers, control freaks, um, basically what you control, um, you don't allow freedom for growth in your organization or amongst your subordinates. One person can't do everything and if you try to micromanage or you seek to control everything, you will start, start the growth of your subordinates and also your own personal growth. You, you cannot um, get blessed or get something in if you have one hand closed. You have to open up. It it's, give, it's give and take and you have to reciprocate that. If you have um, people that are working for you that are experts and have the knowledge, you should give them the chance to flourish. And as a micromanager and a control freak, you ruin that opportunity for others to um, develop to their fullest potential. As a leader, you get credit overall for what your people do. They, if your people do well, that means that they make you look good. Um, my next point would be um, giving up comfort. In leadership, there are going to be times when you have to make um, some difficult decisions or at times it's going to be um, kind of awkward and you have to learn to um, stay focused and um, push through that. A good word I would like to use is perseverance. Perseverance is the ability to continue to stay on track and push through and remain focused despite um, different obstacles and you best believe if you're going to be in any position of authority or um, leadership or if you want to say management, but I prefer leadership. Um, you will definitely have to um, fight, through, fight through getting out of your comfort zone, especially when you have to make change. In most organizations where people have been there for a while, most are uncomfortable and do not want change. And as a leader, there are going to be times when you have to make the decision to um, make changes within your organization even when it is not um, the most popular. The next point I want to hit is fear. All leaders have faced fear at some point or another, or another and you're going to face it um, in the future. Um, the theme I like to use as a, a leader, you have to be like Star Trek. Be prepared to boldly go where no man has gone before. And it's always going to take something. Um, to whom much is given, much will be required. There is nothing free. So if you are going to be a good leader, it's going to require um, some sacrifice. There's always uh, a price to pay. And the higher you go up, um, basically the greater the price. But the flip side to that is there's, um, there's perks and benefits that come with that. More, um, you have more autonomy. Um, more freedom. Um, along with that, as I said, you get the benefits of um, of what your subordinates do. They make you look good. When they excel, you look good. That's a direct reflection on you. You know. Um, what else are some of the? Um, I guess the perks of leadership. Maybe adoration or the admiration of others and um, the respect. And, and, and confidence of subordinates and also your peers and even those above you knowing that you can be counted on you are the go-to guy you are the Michael Jordan the LeBron James they can count on you my next and um, last point that I want to make 
and I, I feel this is really um, crucial, is as a leader, I would say the cost of leadership is integrity. And that means that sometimes maintaining your integrity is not going to be easy. You know, sometimes you may be faced with um, difficult situations where, well, maybe, um, you know, maybe if I, I kind of cheat a little bit or I tell a lie or, you know, at the expense, you know, of other people, you know, I can just kind of sweep this under the rug, you know, so I don't have to face that situation or so that I can gain an advantage. With integrity, it means it means honor, being honest. If you tell someone you're going to do something, do it. Um, also, don't just talk about it, be about it. If you're going to be a good leader, um, you got to, you have to, you talk the talk, you must also walk the walk. You know, you ever heard that song, Walk It Out? Well, as, as you're going to be a good leader with integrity, you got to walk it out. So whatever you say, make sure you do it because if you tell someone something, you may think that people are not listening to what you said or it's like, oh, it's not that important. But even though they may not say anything, you know, people, they still hold it. And your word is your bond, you know. So um, trust is, is hard. hard. It must be earned and it's hard to gain, but it's easy to lose. So as um, the cost of leadership is integrity, even... Um, when you're facing tough decisions, um, not being a sellout, you know, keep your keep your integrity. Um, do not sell sell out, you know, for any accolades, awards, or benefit. Um, um, earn it, and if it means that, hey, you know, I can, I maintain my integrity, and I had to um, maybe sacrifice or bypass um, that particular benefit because I kept my integrity, you'll be better for it in the long run. But um, yes. Integrity, you know, keep your word. Definitely um, keep your word to your subordinates. You are the one that's in the position of power, and you have the you have the power and decision-making ability to um, somewhat affect um, your people's outcomes. So if you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. Be a person of of your word. You know, your peers need to know that they can count on you, and that your word is your bond. Um, even those above you, if they know that you stand for a principle, you will, you will get, um, get respect and they can trust you. If you don't stand for something, you'll stand for anything. But that's basically all I have for now and hopefully that's enough um, for you to chew on. But the cost of leadership, um, everything has a price. But if you do it the right way, it'll pay off in the long run. Thank you guys for listening. Short but sweet and to the point. Um, please um, like the video. You can either um, dislike it, share, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.